Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are here at the parking lot of TJ Maxx. We're gonna be going in to practice some of Mojo's training and do some shopping for her. So let's go in. You're gonna go this way. This way. This way. Come on. Come on, leave it. So we are back home and I am really excited on how well the trip to TJ Maxx went. Um, the reason why I took Mojo there is because I wanted to expand on her training. Mojo graduated from her advanced class in December. However, um, I still want to continue training her. My goal is to um, do the good canine uh, certification with her through AKC and part of the things that she has to do is interact well with somebody that's coming up to her. So Mojo is a really nice dog. She's super fun, friendly with other dogs and she's really good with people. But when she's not sure about someone, especially that first meeting, um, she could feel overwhelmed and she could be a little hesitant and a little shy. So part of um, the training that we were doing when we were in advanced class, it was meeting new people. Um, so she's been to breweries and different types of stores, but never a, a shop like TJ Maxx. And I thought it'd be a great idea uh, to take her there. It's because I was looking for one item anyways, and I figure I had heard that they were dog friendly. I gave them a call and sure enough, they said they always have dogs, dogs are welcome. Uh, so I was really excited and I took her. She went really, she did really well. She was excited to be in the car. Uh, before we went into the store, we made sure she took a potty break just so that we didn't have any accidents inside. And then when we went in, everything was fine. Uh, there were people everywhere there were you know like shopping carts around and that didn't bother her at all uh you'll see on some of the footage that um you know she was like smelling like the pillows and things like that she was curious there was a lot of smells for her so i i was really happy that she did really well there were two things that kind of made her a little uneasy one was when one of the sales associates approached us because uh, I was actually um, like like lowered. I was like looking at like the treats that were hanging and I was kind of at her level and we were just kind of like looking at the bags and I was just letting her smell them. And he was like started talking to us from a little bit far away, but I think it's because he was over us. Uh, she was just kind of like retreated, took a step back and was kind of like trying to smell from far away. And then he just came over and started talking to us more and mentioned that he had a dog and stuff. He got down to our level and he tried to pet her and she was kind of like, I don't think so. But she let she smelled his hand a few times, uh, did not let, let her pet him did not let him pet her <laughs> um but overall she wasn't like um she was hesitant but she was not like barking or or uh you know like growling or anything she was just unsure of who he was when he took you know when he put his mask down i think she kind of was more like oh okay you know and i gave him a treat to give to her she took it um so that was one interaction that it wasn't perfect but it was okay she did pretty good and then two the second one was what another store associate was like she had like a little cart that she was pushing around and it was making a lot of noise and mojo has it, it's a hit and miss with her on like carts and strollers most of the time she doesn't care but you know there is one random day that she does depends on the noise so she was very curious about the noise wanted to know where it was coming from just kind of like kept looking around once she saw her she kind of like you know like 
put her hair at her head up and was kind of curious i gave her treats just to make sure she was not barking or anything like that and just to stay calm and she kept looking at it but she was getting the treats and then eventually i just redirected so she did really well uh, so i am really proud of that experience i'm definitely gonna keep taking her um i want to i know it's not gonna be perfect i know that it's gonna take a lot of work for us to pass the the um good canine certification but i mean we're not in any rush i think mojo has done fantastic from how she used to be two years ago to where she's at today she behaves really well uh, she enjoys traveling in the car and overall i would say you know like she's 90 percent there uh, the small little things that we have to work on and are just stuff that we are willing to work on but i'll show you her little haul she didn't get much she only got three things but i think there were the things that she needed so number one is this uh slow feeder bowl from i think they're out outward hound we have several of these i just needed another small one because we have the big ones here at home we have two of these and then another small one and i noticed that she just uh eats bit better from the smaller one so i wanted to make sure i had a mix of them and all of the ones that we have are different shapes just to kind of keep it interesting and not give her kind of the same thing every day so she has a variety of them she has two more downstairs then i let her smell a bunch of treats and she ended up going with these like bosey bakery bacon and blueberry recipe um she's had this brand before they have a mix of uh, vegan and non-vegan and these these are not vegan because they're obviously bacon and blueberry uh but she was really excited when i got these and then last but not least not my favorite thing but she licked it as soon as she grabbed it so it was this like antler um it's a split antler already um we are very careful with them like we only give them to her um you know when when she's being supervised uh that's a huge one so i hope it lasts her a while uh, most of the time like we get them as gifts for her uh but yeah so those are the three items that she picked i think she deserves them all she did extremely well today on the training and i'm hoping to share more videos with you of when i take her training or when we're practicing her tr her tricks um i you know it's something that i really enjoy doing we are definitely not professionals or anything like that we're just kind of working our way through the training together um, and just building our relationship and our bond but i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you next time Bye bye